Hello, I'm Davis Tolliver, and this is Business and Economics for Kids. Today our topics are the two main types of interest, simple and compound. If you remember in our last video, which was on interest, we touched on these two topics. But in this video, we'll discuss them in greater detail. First off, simple interest. Simple interest is a percentage of the original amount of money lent. To help explain, let's say you borrowed $1,000 at an annual simple interest rate of 20%. No matter what, the interest will always be a percentage of $1,000. Here's a short little clip about simple interest. I want the money. Hey, why can't I get to the money? You must pay simple interest if you want the money. What's that? It is one of the main types of interest. If you are paying simple interest, then you are paying a percentage of the original amount of money borrowed. In this case, $3,000. I'll pay that. Then you may pass. Yay! Compound interest is a percentage of the total amount of money owed at that point in time. So let's say instead you borrowed $1,000 at an annual compound interest rate of 20%. After one year, you would owe $1,200. Then the next year, you would owe 20% more of that. Now you owe $1,440. And the next year, you would owe 20% more of that. Compound interest really stacks up, especially with higher loans. Here's another short clip. This time it's about compound interest. Compound interest. Like a snowball, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Compound interest is a percentage of what you owe at that point in time. Let's take this guy for example. He has a compound interest deal. His interest rate is 10%, the time that has passed is zero years, and he owes $10,000. Year one just went by. We have to add 10% of $10,000 onto the amount he owes. Now he owes $10,100. Year two flew by. We have to add 10% more of $10,100. Now he owes $10,201. Year 3. Now he owes $10,303.01. We added 10% more of $10,201. Compound interest really does stack up. Now it might seem to you that Simple interest is much, much better than compound interest, but it's not always that way. To help prove my point, imagine that you were a banker and somebody borrowed money from you on compound interest. Wouldn't the fact that the person is paying you compound interest give you a lot more money than if the person was paying simple interest? And the truth is, no matter what type of interest it is, it will always add up. This is really true if you take a long time to pay the lender back. One last thing. With simple and compound interest, or for this matter, just interest in general, if you have not paid all the money you owe back and a year is about to end, then the remaining money will move on to the next year where more interest will be added onto it and that will be what you owe at that point. So if you have already paid $500 or the $600 you owe in the first year, then the remaining $100 will move on to the next year where more interest will be added onto it. You want to think of the amount you owe as a total that dollars are taken from every time you make a payment on it and dollars are put in every year or month or basically every time you add interest. That's all for today. Join us next time on Business and Economics for Kids.